safely released to fight another day. Yes, and that. Folks, how you doing? Captain Mark here. Yeah. I appreciate you doing that, all right? I know you got a thousand other things to do than watch your toolbox on video right now. But for some reason, you sick maniacs tune in, all right? And why? I have no idea. Why in the world? Look at the shadows. I got like lights in here because I'm so late. I'm flying out in the morning. I can't get this video done. I'm supposed to watch a movie with Mrs. K right now. A girly movie too. Oh, yikes. So I, I'm really pressed for time right now. All right? What's this episode? First of all, the, en the intro was all over the place. All right? I got skiing going on. Why? Because I shot back up to New York. Went to our ski joint. Ski up there for like five days. All right? Five days is tough on me, man. I'm like breaking down right now. My legs are kicking like Bruce Lee right now. All right? But that's not important there. All right? What else you see in there? You see Pistol Pete with his 19-foot spider with tearing through the Everglades down there. That's what this trip's about. We are in the Everglades. We are fishing for anything that bites. Don't get me wrong. It's not as if we're, prefer, you know, we're freaking targeting uh, the pipe and blow for fish, which is a bird. It's just a point I'm making right there, right? That was the worst point ever. Relax. We're, fit, we're catching whatever we can catch. However, our plan was to, if we did say hello to a couple of mangrove snappers, we're going to keep them. Keepers, of course, all right. And as you see this film, as it proceeds now, you'll see that it was, oh, that's a good sized mango. You'll probably laugh when you see the size of mango. Mango snap is a state of Florida, have to be 10 inches, all right. 10 inches is not a big fish, however, those fish that you see right now are probably 12 inches. <laughs> a 12 inch fish, you're like, are you serious with a 12 inch fish? I'm serious, is that hot, Jack? Huh? No, whatever. Boy, this part went sideways. Just, just go to a fish. Get them all set up for you here in a minute. No crying in baseball. Oh. Hell yeah. Big Maggie? Probably, yeah. Not even big. Now he's big. Holy oh, he's big. Oh, yeah, size. that'll keep, dude. Wow. Here, I'll open up the jacuzzi. That's big. Open up the jacuzzi. This is our mission right here, mangroves. However, we are catching reds. There we go. Right into the redfish hole. Oh shit! Get the camera! Oh, Pete, I gotta get the fish out. 
crocodile, huge. They'll never be able to see Oh it. my god, please come this way. <laughs> that's a nice mangrove rope. All right, that's a keeper, right? Can we zoom this in? No, you can't. Fish on, fish on, fish I don't on. Care. I don't care. Bro, the shoot this. Hey guys, I'm no Floridian, but you wouldn't think people get so jacked up seeing a crocodile, for God's sake. All right, uh, you think you live in Florida, you see one or two of those things, right? A day. Apparently not. That made my trip right there. How do you see a million crocodiles? National Geographic. What, you haven't seen it? Last year, the guide, it was in his backyard. It wasn't like out here in the wild, you know? Come on, guy. Redfish, right? All right, folks, we're fishing. Next thing you know, we see the croc. He flanked us. He went around the mangroves right into our honey hole and watched us, all right? I'm not sure if he was hungry or what, but he came close to the boat. He got a good look at Pete, and he spit up a little bit, and then he just, like, turned around and left. So thank God Pete uh, hasn't done a sit-up in 10 years. Probably saved our lives. That's craziness right there. Croc was... God, man, he had three feet from us? Oh, I can't. How much have to unleash the guns in that room if he came any closer? With a little kidney punch on it. But he is out here, seriously, he's been watching this for almost an hour now. Not trying to kill our baits or anything like that, it's crazy. Just hanging right, I'd say, archery, he's about 30 yards from us. All right, now I'm over here now. Quiet, don't say another word right there, I guess a day. 30 yards away? I know, I know. Things are changing in this video in about two seconds. I'm shaved. Oh my gosh, high and tight, little hair cut there, back in New York, freezing. Uh... Well, I'm going on the side here. I had to change this video. I apologize putting it out and then pulling it back in. But I uh, need to change some stuff about a couple of shows. The shows that are coming up right now are the Edison Show, all right? Over in Jersey. That's the information on the Edison Show right there. I'll be over there. I'll be hanging out at the Maja booth on Saturday. So if you guys have the availability, come over and see the kid on Saturday. Over at the Maja booth. Jersey Con, strong. Love the Jersey Con, all right? I'll be over in Edison at the Maja booth, all right? Uh, what else? <laughs> Contemplating putting out the God and Country shirts, the KO, Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors series, God and Country shirts. I need a little feedback from you guys to see if I should even do it. Put a quick blip on Instagram, got some crazy responses, so it looks good. I'll probably make those uh, shirts up right there. And uh, con hats, everything, oh, there's, that's the old, this is my only con hat, by the way. It's gone, everything's gone. Looking at to put the con man hat out now, all right, trademark con man, how you doing, ladies? And uh, that's about it. Let's go go fish right now. Best cast right there. Whoa! Nice guy. Take that back. Take that back. <laughs> what this is? That's oh, a big mangrove. It's a nice one. Oh, that'll hold. I guess I'll uh, go ahead and get the release well filled. What do you think? Yeah. You gotta keep these guys. That's the mission. That's a keeper. Boy, oh. let me hold the camera up. 
Tail on her. Yeah. I like that blue collar. Come on, pal. I'm not gonna hurt you. Nice. Get on the bottom here. <laughs> Daddy likes. Nice quick release. How you doing, ladies? Bam. Well, also, it lets a scent out. That's what the red fish are smelling. Yeah. This rat's going. This, this rat's going back. Back next year and get you here, buddy. Don't go offshore, stay here. Again. Look at the tail. Blue. Perfect hook set. I love it. Hooks out. Nice red. No. Nope. He's got a concussion. There we go, dropping fish again. However, that fish did triple in the into the water, swim one way in good health. All right. Again, that's the end of that fish right there and the end of the story right now. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's not my best work. I know I've said it in the past, but that was just like, still, I still have some struggle with some bad audio right there. I have since resolved it, so I won't be giving that crap quality out there. I apologize. But I do appreciate you guys and girls watching this episode and all the other episodes of Kid Coaches. If you haven't seen any other ones, go in the back. You'll see a couple of really horrific stuff years and years ago. But I'm trying to get the product a little better. All right, looking at new sponsors and stuff like that. So uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the show shenanigans and um, we got spring coming around there right? we've got a lot of tips and tricks going on we fish with a lot of different people a lot of different captains and stuff like that so stay tuned for the upcoming stuff spring in the northeast my florida videos not much love down in florida but we'll get there we'll get there right uh again that's a learning curve for me down there and uh the love for the new york down in florida i'm not quite sure we're getting there yet all right but maybe we will who knows Thanks again for watching Kiko Cheese Outdoors. If you guys consider subscribing, please do. Like if you like. And there's a bell down there somewhere. Ring the bell where you get more notifications when the kid puts a video up, alright? Thanks again for watching. You know where I gotta go.